What's good? Fucking ain't a damn thing. I'm just up in the spot still, fucking right in uh, Maple Ridge. Sorry I haven't been able to pick up the last couple days, man. It's just been a bit busy, you know? Oh, no worries. Uh, I talked to a couple other peeps. I talked to Miles. Um, I was going to say, uh, just going back on what we were talking about before, about, like, you know, talking to talking to the people and stuff, I released a couple of videos online and the response has been really good, you know? Yep. Yeah, people have been hyped, man. They're hyped to see you out, you know? Yeah, that's hot. So, uh, I was going to talk to you about this this right now, if you want to talk about it. Um, I was going to talk about um, kind of back in the day with the whole graffiti and, you know, the, the point of, uh, you know, a lot of people respect you in the graffiti game and all that. I was going to see if you wanted to talk anything about that. You know, uh, I guess, you know, you've been locked up for a while, so it's kind of tough to really to talk about what's going on nowadays, but kind of like how you came up and stuff, you know, like, you know, coming up in the game and kind of doing what doing what you did and being such an inspiration to people. Yeah. I'm just talking about, like, you know, what you did in the streets. Everybody, you know, calls you King Zeus and all that shit, right? So I just wanted to see yeah. if you had any comments about, like, you know, coming up and what you think, you know, like what graffiti meant to you and shit back in the day, you know? Yeah. It was way different back then, I'm pretty sure. But actually, I can't really say that. It's probably similar now. It's just times have changed for me. So I don't really know exactly what, what's happening with it these days. I mean, I haven't been to any graffiti websites or chat lines. I mean, I used to always fuck with Gorilla, Gorilla One. Yeah. Uh, and they had that, that tagging page where you could fuck with it on the doodle, doodle chat. Yeah. Do hit ups and bombs and shit. Clear it off and just put a big blockbuster up. Sick, man. Yeah. What about in the streets though? Like you know, like when you came up, like how how did you how did you get started and shit? Uh, in elementary school, I actually I have a uh, I did a little bit of authoring when I was in uh, Bellingham. I got an autobiography written. I could put out, it describes everything, pretty much. Talk about that a little bit. It has some of the crews I was down with, some of what I did and how I came up, how I first started with it. Uh, when I was young, elementary school, young age, I was nine or ten, drawing with crayons in school and shit. But one of the, one of the, uh, kids that I was friends with on the playground uh, got me into it because there was always buds hitting up the neighborhood. They were spray painting the elementary school, bombing it with bubble letters and tags and shit and red spray cans, red, white. Uh, I think it was just red and white bubble letter bombs, mostly, and the corner store was just hit, hit the fuck up, it was crazy. It was kind of gangster at the back. We used to always go back there and smoke. Well, was that? yeah, I was smoking weed back then. Just started. We used to smoke weed and pop can pipes and shit like that. You know, uh, punch the holes in to the pop can, smoke the weed with the with the uh, mother load cover, <laughs> shotgun or hole. <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. Well, that's crazy, man. Like, when did you first start hitting, like, you know, like, everybody talks about, uh, you know, zoo straight letters, like, out in the street. When did you first start really, like, knowing that you were going, you know, you were going with it? Like, you know, that was back in the day, but, like, when you first started really getting the respect for it, like, talk a little bit about that, you know? Yeah, that was 96 or 97. I was, I was kicking it with that ice a lot. Me and him were fucking around with each other. We were always, we were both bombing the same thing, except for me and him, me and him, he was in DFA before, but he, he left it because he fucked with me. He jacked this hoodie I had, and we got into a big beef, and I started crossing him out and shit and calling him a toy. And I, I, I think we got into a fight once. Yeah, we got into a fight at Logie Mall, and uh, I haven't seen him since then. But we... Uh, I was in, you know, quit. Yep. He left DFA and he went and did other things. Uh, he went to another crew and 
then he got down with ETC, so I don't really think he's cool with the FA that much. But I don't really give a fuck about ETC anymore. Uh, that's old shit. I don't really give a fuck. I don't know what's happening with those fools anymore. What what crews were you repping with, like uh, when you were when you were rolling thick, like uh, you know, in those days? What crews were you repping with? Nice. GSA, C, S, Can't Stop, Giant Size Dance, uh, Move in Silence, City Destroying Killers, uh, Don't Fuck Around, oh, Up A Lot, UAL. What do you, uh, like, what, what graffiti writers, like, uh, when you, ke- were you coming up, like, kind of, did you, were you looking up to when you were, when you were starting to get out, get, get out there and get your thing going? Sick. They were in the most cities around, and who the hell else was? Take Five was up a little bit when before he was in a wheelchair, but not that much. Just in Burnaby, and he was with Seek, him and Seek. Sick they were man. RSA. Rock shit a lot. Oh, it's lock up time. I gotta get off the phone. Okay, well, Zeus, give me a call in the next couple days here. Okay. Peace, brother. Good talking to you. I'm going to call tomorrow. All right, cool. Peace, brother.